EA Sports and the PGA Tour so proudly present the final round of the Farmers Insurance Open. It's part of the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Hello, friends. This is Jim Nance for EA Sports. We are here today at the Torrey Pines Golf Course, established back in 1957 and built on the site of Camp Callan, a U.S. Army base that was in use during World War II. We're here again today for another exciting event, and I'll be calling all the action for EA Sports. David Faraday, of course, is here as well, ready to give you that fairway side and coverage that only he can provide. Alrighty guys, what's going on? As you can see, we are back for some more Tiger Woods PGA Tour 14, the Farmers Insurance Open. And guys, before I forget, I want to go ahead and tell you, um, as usual, at the end of this round, there'll be three courses, the next three events, but the first one is not correct. Uh, last season, I didn't have all the courses yet, so I had to skip... Uh, the waste management open or whatever it is in Scottsdale, uh, the TPC Scottsdale. So that is actually the next event. It's not showing up because I had to change it last season because like I said, I didn't have the courses yet. So at the end of this event, the first one is not correct. The first one will be TPC Scottsdale. So if you want to see TPC Scottsdale, make sure you leave that in the comment section, not Atlanta Athletic Club because I think that's what is actually on there. So, I just want to let you know, guys, before I forgot, but guys, I have to tell you, this is one of the best rounds of golf I've played on here. Now, I didn't score as low as I probably could have because I came into this tournament with two goals. Obviously, the first one, to win this tournament. I wanted to win. That's obviously the first goal. And guys, I have yet to hit all greens in regulation. So, one of my other goals in this tournament was to hit every green. That was my goal. I wanted to make sure I hit all the greens. I didn't have that trophy yet. I have yet to hit, like I said, 100% greens and regulation. So that was one of my goals in this tournament, like I was saying. And uh, some of the holes actually went for the center of the green instead of attacking the flag, just to make sure that I got it on the green. So uh, I probably could have scored a lot lower than I did in, in this tournament, but it was really a really good round. So, here we go guys, it's going to be pretty good, a lot of fun, I really enjoyed it. Also guys, I want to talk about the US Open, just ended, uh, what's today, Tuesday, so it just ended a couple of days ago, what a round, what a golf tournament, Marion, oh my god, that tournament is a freaking beast, man, I, I cannot remember the last time I seen a major, you know, the winner be one over par. You know, most of the time you see crazy scores, especially after four rounds. I mean, you see crazy scores on some of these courses and one over won that event. And the thing about it is, is with all the rain, it actually slowed the course down some. I could only imagine what it would have been without all that rain. I mean, because it was already fast. I mean, the greens were fast with all the rain. So, I could, like I said, I could only imagine what it would have been if it wouldn't have had all that water on the course. The, what, it, it rained for like three days or something like that. It rained the first round, obviously. And I think it rained a couple of days before that or something. So, yeah, that was a very tough event. Uh, Justin Rose finally got his major. He's well-deserved, well-deserved, a great golfer. Seems like a pretty good guy. I think they said he's one of the most light golfers on the tour. I think he deserved it. I really do, guys. Uh, Phil Mickelson definitely gave him a run for his money, as did, as did a few others. And I also actually thought Phil was going to win it because that course played in the Phil Mickelson strength so much with his short game that he has. I mean, he literally thought every time... He was chipping out of a bunker or chipping off the green. He literally thought it was going to go in every time. I mean, he would get upset when the ball didn't go in. I mean, as his short game is phenomenal. And I know I've talked about that before. I've actually, uh, in the comment section on one of the other videos, somebody said something about a short game, and I also commented on it. But it was a really good tournament. I, I could not get up. I had to watch the entire thing. I don't think I missed uh 10 minutes max of that entire tournament and that was 
the, every time I had to get up to go pee or whatever the case may be, I watched almost that entire tournament, and it was a blast. Now, Tiger Woods did not fare so well, <laughs> to say the least. Um, yeah, that was a rough one. Uh, it kind of surprised me. I thought he would have done a lot better than what he did, but yeah that was pretty bad I forget what he finished like 13 over or something like that total for the four rounds that's rough if a Tiger Woods that is rough I can only imagine what he was thinking when he left there I bet he was cussing himself oh my lord I mean and there was a lot of people that had bad rounds I mean there was some really really high scores on that course I'd love to play that course like I said before but I would really hate to see my scorecard at the end of it. I mean, it, it looks like a really beautiful course, uh, but extremely tough. So I would not want to see my scorecard at the end, but I would definitely love to play it. Uh, I don't. I, I, thir I heard that it's a public course. Now, I could be wrong there, but I thought I heard it was a public course. I don't know. It's outside of Philadelphia. I know I do have a few of you subscribers in Philadelphia. Uh, some of them that I chat with on Twitter every now and then. Uh, and I also have a few friends that live out there. So you have to let me know, is that a public course or not? Because I'm actually headed to Philadelphia um, August. The first week of August, I'm going to be going to Philadelphia to watch my Atlanta Braves whoop up on the Phillies. I hope. I hope that's the case. And then I think I'm going to ease over to Washington because the Braves actually leave there and go to Washington. And it's not that far to Washington. So I think I'm going to leave there, go to Washington on the way home, and stop and see a Nationals and Braves game as well. So we'll see about that. Maybe, I hopefully, I'll bring my clubs. I usually take my clubs everywhere I go just in case. You know, there's a course along the way that I could play. And look at that shot, guys. That is a chip shot. That's a Phil Mickelson shot right there. <laughs> But, uh, let me, like I said, let me know. The guys I know, a lot of you on, in Philadelphia, is that a public course or not? Uh, obviously, you probably cannot get a tee time if it is. I can imagine it's pretty backed up, especially since the U.S. Open was just there. And everybody got to see how tough it is. You know, I'm sure a lot of people want to go and give their try at it and uh, fail miserably, I'm sure. I could only imagine being a member there. I wouldn't want to be a member of that course, I'm telling you. How can you enjoy your golf when you're shooting that bad? I mean, if those guys went out there, and I know they had the pin placement, especially on Sunday. The pin placement was ridiculous on a lot of holes. You couldn't really attack a lot of the holes. If you did, you were going to be in trouble. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know if that's a course I would want to be a member at. I mean, if you get good at that course, you probably be good at don't matter where you go. So, I don't know. I, I, w I probably wouldn't want to be a member there, though. Uh, let's see. What else we got going, guys? Uh, oh, I wanted to announce on here. Because I know I have I've announced this on other videos, and I understand that. And I'm sure a lot of you watch all my videos. But I know I have some subscribers that only watch golf. I have some that only watch the baseball. I have some that only watch, you know, whatever the case may be. I wanted to announce, guys, we are getting close to that 1,000 subscriber mark, guys. And it's coming up soon. It won't be long. I feel like it's going to be soon. And guys, I know that does not sound like a big number to a lot of people. And yes, that is the exact same thing I said in all the other videos. But to me, it is a huge number. I'm extremely excited about it. And what I'm going to do to celebrate that 1,000 subscriber mark, guys, is have a live stream with all subscribers. I want to do nothing but a subscriber live stream. It don't matter what we play. If it Tiger Woods we play, baseball we play, NBA we play, Battlefield, whatever we're playing, I want it to be all subscribers. Um, and that's what I want to do. Live stream it. A lot of it will go up on YouTube. Uh, so you will you know, see a lot of the live stream. I'm extremely excited about this, guys. Like I said before, I didn't know. When I first started YouTube, I did not know how it was going to end up. I didn't know if it was going to be a complete bust. It's turning out to be pretty good, I have to say. And I want to thank every single one of you. As you see, I missed the eagle putt right there. I wanted that eagle putt so bad, guys. But, like I was saying, I didn't know how this was going to turn up, turn out. And it's going extremely well. And I want to thank every single one of you guys. And hopefully, you guys will be able to come and join me 
and play some video games in that live stream and we'll have a lot of fun guys guaranteed I'm thinking about maybe uh, doing a little giveaway it, it won't be a whole lot I have to tell you if I do do it I'm not for sure about it I don't even know what it would be yet so don't hold me to that but I'm gonna try to do something for you guys to pay you back for everything you've done for me and I'm like I said thanks a ton guys as you can see we got another win there are the three courses remember that National Golf Cup is incorrect that will be TPC Scottsdale all right guys I'm gonna get out of here I hope you enjoyed it we will be back for more later I promise I'm gone guys later